Now, if I see a video and I see that sh in my home, are you a real there? How's the market at the moment? Oh, can I get an appraiser real quick? Uh, I want to make sure everything is up to code. Oh, yeah, I, I, appraiser, please. Oh, the house is a hundred thousand dollars above market price, huh? So I bought it for four fifty, but it's going for five fifty now. Oh, can I put it up for sale? Oh, good. Oh, shocking. Hey guys, before the video continues, if you're new here or been here for a while, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button to help support me in future videos. Take it away, Metro. I'm not going to do this all in one video. That's going to be essentially almost impossible. This is two hours and 37 minutes long. That requires a lot of time. And I don't think I'm about to do all that. The idea I have for this. Let me know if you think it's fair. There are 66 scary videos in this compilation, essentially, for this two hours and 37 minute video. I'm going to do 11 per video. If 11 being 10 minutes and or 11 being an hour, whatever it is, it's going to be 11 per video. 66 videos in one sitting, essentially almost three hours, two and a half hours. That's a little too much. In all honesty, I wanted to start the Bizarre Bill videos, but this video in particularly kept on popping up on my recommendation page on YouTube, either on my phone, on my other phone, on a different account, on my other account, on my desktop. It just kept on popping up, popping up, popping up. Then I just decided, you know what? Let's just do 11 per video. That's six videos out of this video. I think that's fair. So with that being said, let's go through the first 11 videos, the 66 scary video video, 66 scary video video. Yeah, let's just get into it. It will help by turning off my speaker. I'm hopeless sometimes. I don't know how I'm a content creator sometimes. The following security camera video was uploaded to YouTube in September of 2018 by a user named Jay Breezy and showcases the inside Breezy? of some sort of building that requires Chris Brown's cousin? security guard to keep watch. And in the case of this video, Jay is the guard. In the video, the we god see Jay or the down guard his chair passing the time when all of a sudden something strange captures his attention for the remainder of the video. Take a look at the bizarre footage. I'm looking left and right. Oh. Decide to show itself again. See it? I don't see a it, goddamn it's thing. Faint though. I looked at it like okay. I'm like okay. So I hesitated. So I just do the some do something because I didn't know what to do. You know. Oh yeah, a translucent that time, figure. It came from over my head though, for some reason. I don't know. But I was like, you know what? I'm see. I'm over there just talking shit now, like. Why is always me and stuff? So it is what it is. It showed up to me twice already. Out of the corner of Jay's eye, he can see a creepy ghostly apparition walk around the area, which can also be seen on camera if you look just close enough. Barely. Afterwards, he proceeds to throw what looks to be a rolled up newspaper at the entity before eventually talking to himself in the corner. At the end of the video, we can see him saying a prayer before going back to work. Uh, feeling yeah. Feeling comfortable knowing that the spirit is now gone. Let's just hope that from here on out, Jay can go back to working in peace and not have to worry about being paid a visit from an entity from another dimension. Or just quit. I don't know. I feel like that could be a reasonable thing to do. If you were a guard, 
and you gotta deal with spirits not only crazy people or potential crazy people you gotta deal with potential crazy people and spirits find a new place wait what are you two weeks in or just i don't know go through the yellow books and find sam and dean or garth somebody or the british men's letter because there's no more americans well other than dean and sam but find the british men and letters or crowley i don't know some just call just call somebody just call your grandma see how she's doing call your mom see how she's doing call your old neighbor from your previous address or remove a lot from your previous 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 address just call your neighbor why not most of the time on the paranormal community section on youtube you will more often than not see videos of people exploring various different abandoned buildings local to their area whether it be a school a church a hospital or even sometimes large mansions these are typically the kinds of places that are explored on youtube but in True. one video uploaded to urbex hills youtube channel the I channel love urbex Chris hills. actually explores an entirely abandoned neighborhood which oh yeah is with goosebumps Throughout the nearly hour-long video, Chris walks us through the neighborhood, okay. which feels like something Chris, I forgot his name. Walking Dead or The Last of Us, just because of how desolate and eerily quiet it is in the area. The neighborhood became abandoned in the 1990s after a terrible fire ravaged through and destroyed nearly every apartment building. For a while during Chris's investigation, nothing outright creepy happens. But that all changes when Chris decides to explore one of the charred buildings. Take a look at this. Oh, fast question before I continue. I haven't seen Urbex Hill for a long while, as in it made appearances on Bizarre Buzz channel and made appearances on Nukes Top 5. I've always been excited seeing any piece of information come up with Urbex Hill. Would you guys actually like for me to just click on one of his videos on his actual channel instead of me seeing like highlights from these three scary comp style channels? Would you guys actually appreciate if I go into these investigations and watch the whole entire thing from start to finish and see if I catch anything with my own eyes? If so, let me know. This door closing seemingly all by itself is just the first sign that this area is not just abandoned, but possibly haunted too. He's not if alone. If any skeptics out there need more proof, then take a look at this shot right here and pay close attention to this part before the green slats can be seen. Was there somebody in the roof? Oh. 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 Did you see it? If not, I urge you to take a closer look as you should be able to make out what appears to be some sort of creepy looking ghost girl. Damn, that's like frames by frames. This is not like... Hell no. Hell no. Then, about 30 seconds later, something else that is very creepy can be seen. Watch this. There'll be a face of that broken door mirror. A terrifying ghostly face can be seen appearing on the glass of the window on the ground to the right hand corner of the screen. The video goes on for a few minutes longer before Chris ultimately decides to pack his things and head home. This investigation is just proof that haunted and abandoned places can be anywhere. Even I didn't even see it. Expected of places like an entire neighborhood. It's 
so you have a whole neighborhood so like what happens does the city do anything about it do they condemn it try to fix it resell it like i'm not gonna try to dox myself and say exactly location where i used to live before where i'm at now but where i was at there was they called it the trap house it literally was a trap house it burnt down and it had its windows boarded up so it was there for i guess a good maybe 15 years it just never been anything it's just stood and existed now it looks like it looks like it doesn't belong it looks too modern compared to the neighborhood the neighborhood is retro hood style just your typical standard three family apartment building homes i'm not gonna say the color of it it just stands out it looks way too futuristic for that block or modern or nice it took the city like 15 years to finally do something with it but when there's a whole neighborhood what do, like what do you do that's a lot of revenue loss because if you revive this neighborhood these are buildings you can have potentially a hundred people living renting out those spaces that's a lot of money in terms of whoever wants to own the property why what's going on like what's, why that's weird if anybody with backstory of that particular area that chris from urban's hell is at let me know in the comment section the following video published by tiktok user Armor Kate Haunting seems relatively cute and wholesome to start with. Okay. We watch as an adorable dog can be seen simply wandering around his owner's house enjoying the daily life of being man's best friend. However innocent this video may seem on the surface though, it's about to show itself as a legitimately terrifying piece of footage. Oh god. The man can be heard talking to his dog directly in front of him before it goes to sit in front of a door. Nobody could have expected what would happen next. Where's your boy? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Whoa! Holy hell. Whoa. That's not nothing light either. That's a speaker. Fall to the ground, just mere inches away from hitting the unsuspecting dog. Yeah, not a German Shepherd. Managed to get out of the way just in time before he could have gotten hurt. By rewinding the footage numerous times, it is crystal clear that the speaker should not have fallen the way it did. It wasn't too close to the edge of the shelf it was sitting on, and there was not any window open behind it or anything that would have allowed for it to tumble to the ground. Because of this, many viewers are convinced that there was a vicious spirit in the room that day that was attempting to seriously harm the dog seen in this video. If it were to be faked, then it would have to be done with some sort of string attached to the speaker. Thankfully, we can all collectively exhale, knowing that this unsuspecting dog is doing okay. True. Alright, brain figure math. Did not say a different word. Don't try to cancel me, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, every site in the world. I believe I figure it out. It's kind of ironic where if you just see as you're looking at the screen right now, as the moment as it's about to turn, you can see the top of the speaker, but conveniently it moves and it falls after the top part is no longer exposed and it's like pushed. Maybe there is some type of apparatus that's pushing it because the speaker ain't light the speakers are quite heavy they're not extremely heavy but for a poltergeist quote unquote to push something requires a lot of energy a lot of power which is why you typically see glass or plates those are things are light and weight bigger things are kind of hard to push because that requires more energy that's just the fucking story you heard from supernatural the supernatural is real it is what it is you just get the mental letter from britain because the american ones are wiped out but we just get the mental letter from britain to help us out or we just find sam and dean somewhere in the world that's just my skepticism skepticism Skep skepticism exorcism yeah that's just me being a skeptic 
and that's me trying to disprove and explain this video. Bailey the Bailey the runs a TikTok theater account known as theater of the absurd. Of the absurd that focuses on his life adventures and also his experiences with being a caretaker at a theater. Hence the. So I've been. I don't know why I've seen people on TikTok saying theater, or theater. I used to say theater. Isn't it just theater? I like with the accent of sort of spook. I, I hear the theater, the theater, theater. People are saying theater. I just say theater. Like, what is it? Is it theater? Theater? Theater or theater? Because I just say theater. Theater. That's in two syllables. I've been hearing people saying theater. That's in three syllables. I don't know. I'm ignorant. I have public school education. Title of his account. In the video, Bailey takes his camera out to the main stage of the theater and seems to be the confident theater. that he's going to be able theater. to capture something of interest on camera. Three sure syllables. Enough, he did. As a matter of fact, what he saw that day scared him so much that he says he is contemplating quitting his job. After seeing the clip, I can't say that I blame him. Look at this scary piece of footage. I'm in 3.2 million. What's up, y'all? As always, if the sensor gets tripped, I film it just in case we see anything. So here we go. It's uh, 9 p.m. on a Saturday. This is my life. Oh. So I'm walking through the main stage. It's 7 p.m. on a Sunday for me. Here, I'll flip it. Okay. Ghost light is on. I thought this was just a floating light. No one in here. Hello. Okay. I see someone in the middle. Two people in the middle. Although it can only be seen for a couple of seconds, if you look at the top balcony, you can see what appears to be two ghosts standing there while Bailey films from a distance. Of course, this could have been a setup and these could just be two of Bailey's friends, but the video has an unmistakably realistic and eerie feeling to it that you just can't shake. There's also no ah. way to talk fake screaming or panicking noises here either. In fact, when Bailey does point the camera up to the balcony, he doesn't say a word. Perhaps because he's too shocked at what he's looking at to even make a noise. Eh, possibility. So, is this authentic footage of ghosts caught in a theater? Let me know your opinion in the comments. Theater. 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 E theater. 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 Theater? Theodore. 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 Christmas, Christmas time is here. Time for. I'm sorry. Um, in this theater, theater, in this theater, I think it's the explanation you just said. It's probably something just there was not even a gasp. If he was truly shocked, you just hear like a, at least some type of reaction. Reaction of just being in a static static? Panic state. I just combined panic state into one word. But there wasn't. It was just quiet. Just and zoom in. I think it's fake. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. Another entry from the Sir Spook subreddit. This one comes to us from the user Freight Train 2323. The uploader oh. goes on to explain that he and a friend went out to explore an abandoned prison, but while he was there, something happened that creeped him out. Abandoned one point prison? In the video, the man recording gets to the top of a flight of stairs. When out of nowhere, a bizarre voice can be heard coming from somewhere within the prison. And see if you can hear it. And A and N or M A and M. Life is pain. Real. Sounds like a ghost from Luigi's Mansion. 
Oh, that's a turtle, I think. Yeah, I think that's a turtle. Both the man filming and the girl he is with freeze in place whenever they hear this. Understandably. It could have just been other explorers, but that is unlikely. If there were others there, the uploader would have more than likely stated this somewhere in the title of the Oh, clip. yeah, like all uploaders are so honest. Is that the uploader says that this was just one of the many disembodied voices they heard while exploring. So who knows what other creepy noises they heard that day. Oh, uh, yeah, I love when all paranormal activity people are so honest with their videos. It's like there's no editing. There's no manipulation of the devices. It's all totally legit. There's no way the uploader will lie and state there is nobody else with us. It was only us two in this humongous prison that we probably either broke it into. There's no way. Gosh darn it. There's no way that it could have been somebody making that voice. It's only us two. I won't lie to you guys for getting monetized and trying to get views and trying to have myself get paid for stuff I want to get. I will not lie for views. Reddit user Raslan Hafiz 97 shared the following piece of footage to the ghost subreddit that shows him simply walking down the street like at night in the city. Okay. What, what initially city? started off as a peaceful nightly walk quickly turned into something quite strange, as you will soon see. Take a look at what he captured that what night. What futuristic horror sound is that? La Llorona. Oh no, that's a woman in a white dress. Wait. It's unmistakable Bro, I thought you were gonna zoom up. was walking across from Raslan. But he's not entirely sure exactly what it is, and neither am I. By all accounts, it looks like it could be some sort of ghostly figure taking a nightly stroll before vanishing without a trace. Rasland points out that the figure could possibly be somebody walking around in the middle of the night with a Why white like blanket a over their head. But that may actually be more bizarre than an actual ghost. So what do you think this figure is, and what is it doing out so late at night? I live in New Jersey, and in New Jersey there's a park called Branch Brook Park. It is a humongous park. It is very popular during the month of late March to April because we've, I think we possess over a hundred thousand cherry blossom trees. I don't know what was the whole historical value of it. I'm not sure it was some type of governor that has some type of peace treaty or not peace treaty but at least something i'm not too sure if maybe you no know, japanese citizens had like a safe haven in new jersey i don't know i gotta look into it i'm ignorant i'm not gonna look it up right now because obviously i'm recording and trying to give you guys respect because it's only me and you guys but i'll look it up after me whatever i'll probably just put it on display here there's some type of historical value between new jersey and japan where I believe they sent us over a hundred thousand or ten thousand cherry blossom trees and it blooms during the ending of March and April. The purpose of me mentioning the cherry blossoms and me mentioning the park itself is that there is this urban legend in New Jersey, especially in a park, because there was an accident. It was a young couple who just got married. Unfortunately, I think they're in a limo where or there is some type of vehicle. I'm not sure if it was a carriage from a horse. I'm not sure if it was a limo. I don't know really too sure about the story either. There's a whole page on the urban legends of that one as well. I'll also will link it, whatever, or screenshots, so on. I'll do extra work. There was an urban legends where a couple was married and on her happiest day in her life, they got into a bad accident and she died on impact. And apparently you will see a woman in the wedding dress roam Branch Brook at night. There's been many cases of people have seen that. This looks like a woman in the wedding dress. I'm not too sure they ever exposed the location for this uploader on Reddit for Sir Spooks Reddit. But it kind of looks like the park that I, you know, I know. And it would be kind of accurate if yeah, because it looked, it looked like a wedding dress. Yeah, I just went through the footage again. Unfortunately, it didn't say what city it was. 
I think it's branch bug. It kind of looks like branch bug in one part. One part is actually nice in the other one because the other one is more in, in the inner city section. The other one is more in the hospital side of the park. There's an exit where it leads you to the hospital and a lot of like these uppity stores. Since those places are a little bit more of value, they kind of keep that part of the road nice and that section looks like that area, which is why I'm stressing my park. The following video was posted by a YouTuber named Mr. Spouter in January Spouter. 2017 okay. and seems to showcase the uploader simply sitting on his bed and it's clear right away that something eerie has caught his attention. After a couple of seconds, the man recording says that he's hearing some strange sounds coming from down the stairs, mm. but says he wants to be able to capture it for his subscribers to hear. Then uh, Mr. Spouter does something that most people would definitely be way too scared to do. He opens the door and proceeds to investigate the area. For the I love you guys, but not that much. It doesn't seem as though the uploader is able to capture anything of interest until you take a close look at something that appears across the hall. <sighs> my banging again. I'm gonna look at my recording. It's like That's bunnies. With dust bunnies. You can't hear it though. I can. Yeah. It's weird. It's not next door. Sorry. I don't like this. I hear a little bit of banging. What the f? Might be pipes in flyboard. Every time I look, nothing there, like I'm throwing a flash grenade first or a Molotov. Bro, it's dark. Hell. Bro, something peeks his head through. Nah, I. I mm -mm 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 -mm. Did you see it? No, I wasn't looking. What appears to be some sort of ooh, mysterious hooded apparition ooh, is now I saw it, I actually in looked. the hallway. But it seems as though Mr. Spouter did not notice this at the time, because he doesn't have any sort of reaction upon filming the entity. In the comment section of this video, he says that four years later, he still has no idea what this creepy figure was, and what the strange sounds he was hearing in his house were. He's Either still living way, there? Though, it sounds like Mr. Spouter is doing okay for the most part. Let's hope that doesn't change. Now, if I see a video and I see that shit in my home. Are you a real editor? How's the market at the moment? Oh, can I get an appraiser real quick? Uh, I did some upgrading to the home. You know, I fixed the basement. I fixed this. You know, so it's not the same house you sold to me you know, a couple years ago, but I just want to get a, you know, an appraiser. I just want to get an inspector. I want the fire department to come by, you know, just to make sure everything is good. All my uh, fire alarms, my CO2 alarms. I want to make sure everything's all fine and dandy. I want to make sure everything's up to code. But yeah, I, I, appraiser, please. Oh, the house is a hundred thousand dollars above market price, huh? So I bought it for four fifty, but it's going for five fifty now. Oh, can I put up for sale? Oh, good. Oh, shocking. This next video comes to us from my very own subreddit, Sir Spooks, where I encourage you to submit any paranormal-related or creepy videos you have that you want me to take a look at. I respect By submitting, it. you may have a chance to be featured on a video just like this one. I respect this it. This entry was submitted on the Reddit thread by user Random Matt and is titled Strange Men Stare at My House. In the short video, we view what appears to be security camera footage I'm living in like set up around the uploader's house. Desperate As the video progresses, we see two men walking down the street but stop to admire the Are uploader's they house for a prolonged period of time, seemingly without any real reason mm. or purpose. Mm, Seabin. There's a person with 
the no mower it's a dude that looks like his name is phil with side hair so the lawnmower dude turns around stares at the house i'm just The, the Republic of China flag. God, weird eyes. All right, so wait, is that a baby? I saw a hang like this. So they're just facing the house. comment section of the video, some people have various opinions as to what happened here. One commenter points out that at first, nothing looked too out of the ordinary, and says that it looked like one of the men dropped something and was trying to pick it up, but admits afterwards that once the two stared at the house, that it was certainly creepy. Another commenter shows concern that the two men were casing the house, trying to get a better understanding of the security systems and planning to break in. It is quite understandable True. that Matt was creeped out by this, and that he posted it on my subreddit to hear other people's opinions. It may have just been nothing, but who really knows? It seems as if Matt still doesn't have an answer as to what happened that day, but we certainly hope he figures out soon enough. I think that's what it is. They're trying to see, all right, this is a home. This is a security camera. This is that. Because for them to walk back and forth twice, well, yeah, they kind of went twice. And they just stared at it. Maybe, benefit of the doubt, they were intrigued by the house. Maybe it looked nice. Maybe they would like to... I mean, there's been times where I've heard so many people knock on people's doors because my aunt and uncle are victims of these type of things where my aunt and uncle has a beautiful home they have a lot of land they have a humongous backyard they have a great front lawn they completely designed the front of the house looking all beautiful like so many times realtors random people typically older people they would knock on my uncle's house and just flat out say how much and they're like the fuck do you mean how much how much of the home i it looks beautiful oh thank you not for sale but uh, but, uh, but, uh, but uh, uh not for sale that could be the case just say it can be the case it has happened i'm not a homeowner myself my aunt has been a homeowner since she was 18 she's in her 40s now but she that happens to her occasionally the house she owns in one area, same thing, she'll get calls. Hey, we've seen the system. You own this building for X amount of years. Everything about selling, you know, it looks very nice. It's very presentable. It looks, uh, you know, it has requirements that we like and this and that. So many beneficiary aspects and elements that could definitely give you profit wise. I was like, no. And for her single family house, same exact occasion, knocking on doors. Phone calls, letters in the mailbox. How much? So that could be one explanation of this or two. They want to break in. They're just looking at vantage points, which is, I think they're bringing a kid. I thought it was a lawnmower, but it looks like a kid. I, see, I saw a hand stick up like that. It's waving. Don't want to sound mean. I honestly don't want to sound mean, but there's a level for some reason, people who are born 
prior to the year like 1970s they i'm talking about from all colors and cultures or whatever they have a very bold aspect and element to them as in they will fucking stare at you they will comment about you there's a lot of things people who are older that they're just upright frank and just blunt with you some people have no shame they would just stare at you and it's just because there's the generation that came from just had no fear for a lot of people hospitals are one of the creepiest places on earth especially when they are ones that are supposedly haunted or abandoned there's something about being in a place that is being used to take care of sick people that gives people the chills yep hospitals that makes them never want to step foot in there even if they are not ill this video uploaded by a swedish youtuber seemingly depicts two people walking around an abandoned but hospital in the see the name throughout the video yeah, the swedish they dude. are talking in swedish so it is hard to decipher what they are saying all seems normal for the first little bit of the video until this Javla fun Javla fita Slina Så här jävla stort tror jag inte det var inne. Nej, kolla inte långt då. Jävla fan. Kolla det hålet. Han lyser hitåt. Det var hit de gick väl. Ja, det blir det. Det här är denna. A brief albeit bone chilling scream comes from somewhere within the hospital which causes the two friends to scurry off immediately and end yeah. the video there. Yeah, this right. is definitely something that would scare most of us, I would imagine. Of course. I suppose it could have just been a friend of theirs helping them make a creepy video. True. Or perhaps it truly was the eerie scream of a ghost. A user by the name of MacHawkthon shared the following huh? clip over to my Sir Spooks subreddit where I encourage you to share huh? any scary videos you may have for a chance to be featured on videos like these. Huh? The title of this particular... Mick Hawkthorn. I... I swear to God, I thought the source proof says my cock's long. Why did that be saying that just make my... Is that like... Am I a sleeper agent? I just got goosebumps for saying my cock's long. Bro, I just got goosebumps just for saying that. Am I crazy? I heard my cock's long. And this we're playing it from the beginning. And we're going to go from that point on again. All right? I'm sorry. A user by the name of Mac Hawkthorn shared the following clip over to my sir spooks subreddit where i encourage you to share any scary videos you may have for a chance to be featured on videos like these the title of this particular that video was not reads, even close to mick hawkthorn does anyone know where this is at the start all seems perfectly normal as we watch a man braiding a woman's hair as she sits down and relaxes. Okay, like she's Katara from a group of people a last gathering avatar. around a campfire having a good time. However, it doesn't take too long for things to take a dark turn. One of the men is outside calling out the name Alexis, when immediately after, you can hear a woman screaming in the distance. Eventually, the man recording the incident gets to a tree and sees a lanky figure seemingly just sitting there, when all of a sudden, something terrifying happens. Oh, I see the inspiration of the braids. It's a C-A-M-P-I-N-G-F-I-R-E song. What? Alexis? Alexis? Shit. Alexis? Alexis? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, be careful. Oh god. Oh god. Bro, put the camera up, you f Now this is set up. <laughs> what the hell? My man dashed. Seeing as how the title of the video is asking, does anybody know where this is? It is safe to assume that there's never been an explanation posted anywhere online for this creepy video. Was that fucking Goro? Who? That's Spider Man. That's literal Spider Man. Online for this creepy video. 
Who knows what could have happened to this group of people if we are to presume this wasn't a hoax. Man, hand that again, you pose. This next entry comes to us from YouTube channel Ivan and was published on January 29th, 2018, with the title being straight to Six the years point. ago. And I think my apartment is haunted. Ah. Throughout the video, we can hear the woman breathing quite heavily as she records a section of her apartment <clears throat> and sounds completely realistic. After a few seconds, we hear a noise that sounds like something's being pulled. In the background, a cupboard is opened and something falls out. Take a look. My dick fell off. Oh, I see eyes. Left. Oh, that's the TV. Unless that's not the TV. Oh, that's the cupboards. That's the... Well, she kind of enjoyed that. Uh, turn her light. What do you think could have caused this? A rat. The thing that gives this clip a lot of authenticity is the woman's frightened and panicked sounds. They Actors. sound pretty realistic and in the moment. We're stopping there. Remember, it's 11 per video. 66, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero nine eight seven six fifty six. That's 11 videos. We're stopping there 23 minutes. That's not bad. Well, I always say recorded longer because I commented on a lot of stuff. It's about 23 per video. That's not bad. A lot of things could be explained with just great method actors and just doing shit or yeah, just acting. It's not acting. It's not a hard thing to do. And if you want views, if you want this, you could do as much as you can. You could do a lot of things with just 10 seconds of footage, 15 seconds of footage. You got three buddies with you and you're just saying the camera, there's only two of us. And then your third buddy screams or breathes or says a word and then boom, you got a viral video. And you get people to think it's legit because people are slightly gullible. For the hundreds upon hundreds of videos I have seen throughout the years, with the channels I have been watching now. I believe there's been a few that I feel like are a little bit more authentic. Uh, most of them, I could kind of find a way to explain how it's done. That leaves me in that very weird skeptical area where I, hmm. There's been a few videos I've seen that kind of seems more legit than others. It's been a while. I don't know, I don't know how to describe them, but see my reaction on some of my old videos. If you go, if you go on my TikTok, I have reactions upon reactions of a whole bunch of different of these clips that I have posted for the past two years, essentially. You will see, I probably made a comment of like, this is hard to explain. This seems like this is more legit. This is hard for me to break down. Those videos are the ones I feel like are legit. Or if I sometimes don't make a comment, either I know it's fake or depending on how I not comment, I'm like, or I'll, like, if I just end the video saying, I don't know then I'm generally just perplexed or I mean, they're perplexed or just each us about it. Well, guys, this was 11 videos out of the 66 scary videos. I will continue this maybe just tonight. I'm gonna go through all 66 videos. Then I'll probably marathon a whole bunch of bizarre bub videos I have not seen. With that being said, hope you guys enjoyed today's reaction. And as always, I love your faces and I'm out. Look, I'm coming from the next